Hi, and welcome to the Pen, Hook, and Needles podcast. I almost finished Lauren. Podcast. Podcast. <laughs> wow. Hi, I, was, I was watching Lemnit Crochet uh, right before, not last night, uh, Friday night. So she was the last person I watched before I went to bed. Obviously, she's the one who stuck in my head. Um, she has a way of doing that. Yes. <laughs> Hi, Lauren. Hi, Lauren. Um, and everybody else, thank you for coming by and watching us. Um, if you are a new viewer, welcome. If uh, And thank you for showing up. Uh, if you are a longtime viewer uh, or previous viewer or whatnot, thank you for coming back. Thank you for returning. Indeed. Yeah. Um, the lighting in here might be a little different than normal. Um, we are in the sunroom with all the pretty family pictures behind us. Uh, we are doing this in the morning, not my morning, in my morning. I'm not awake yet. That's the hair. <laughs> my daughter calls me from work at, I don't know, 7 o'clock. And I normally don't sleep that late, but it was, we had a late night and it was Sunday morning. And we went to church last night, so I was sleeping in. Mom, we'll podcast when we get home so we can do CCD when I wake up. CCD planning. CCD mm -hmm. pla religious education for those of you who aren't Catholic. And, um... I, I didn't get a chance to shower. I'm a mess. If, you, if I keep moving my hair, so my bangs keep falling in my face. I can't stand it. I do apologize for the way I look. <laughs> I'm sorry. You know, she doesn't it's care. Fault. She doesn't care that like 99.9% .9 of the podcast, I'm the one who just rolls out of bed. <laughs> she's 20 years younger than I am. She can handle it better. Anywho, I love you. Um, yeah, I they switched my schedule, so I'm working. Monday night instead of Sunday night. They asked me if I would switch because they needed more people Monday night. And I was like, huh, freezing rain for Sunday night. Yeah, I think I'll do that. I feel better about that. Um, so, hence the podcasting early in the morning. I'm actually awake. I feel awesome. Mm -hmm. <laughs> She'll crash in about 30, 40 minutes. So, we're going to have to try to get through this. Um, last night was a really good night at work. In spite of the fact that the minute I walked through the door, I was greeted with... Oh, hey, about your assignment. Um, you're the one with the most patience, not patience with the Patience with people. a T, as in patient person. Yes, as in a patient person. Um, you're the one who is the most patient. Um, so we gave you this person as your patient. Um, <laughs> I just like, um, thank you? <laughs> um, why am I being punished for being good? And <laughs> they're just like, yeah, thank you so much for not refusing. I'm like, why would I refuse? It's, that's not really an option. <laughs> that's so funny. Like, well, you wouldn't believe how many people have ever refused to take this person. Okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. Poor person needs somebody to take care of them. <laughs> Whatever. I mean, it's well, only 12 hours, right? <laughs> um, so that was kind of amusing um, to walk into. <laughs> it made me giggle. Something I wanted to say, um, completely off tangent, but I'm looking at our cups on the screen, and I was watching uh, Single Handed Knits, and she made me smile. She had said something like that. It's rude for us to drink in front of you. So if you want to get some, it's freezing in here. So we are going to drink our coffee or tea. I'm drinking tea. She's drinking tea. Well, if you want to, you can pause us or... Ignore us and go get a cup of coffee or tea. We give you this chance. Um, so we're not being Hot apple cider, yeah. something warm. Whatever you want, just so that we're not... it's cold out there. It is indeed. Reference. Yes, I can't quite place it, though. Groundhog Day. It's too early, yes, over and over and over. <laughs> it's cold out, out there. there. <laughs> Did you say partner or pumpkin? Or oh, not a partner. No, not partner. <laughs> pumpkin. <laughs> anyway, please feel free to get a cup of tea or coffee. Um, we don't want to be... Rude. So, well, she doesn't want to be rude. I would, she's rude all the time. <laughs> anyway, this is it. my um, red dress campaign cup, and I'm not. I can't really turn around because it's super hot. Mm. There we go. Of course, if I had thought to make the tea cozies that Nicole pointed yeah. out. Oh, Nicole, she was so sweet. Um, Nicole from um, Positively Knitting. Knitting was very sweet. She had dropped a little line on our on one of our threads in the Ravelry group about um, TM and T, Teenage Mutant Ninja, Ninja Turtles. Turtles. Uh, tea cozies. They're and knitted. Then, They're so cute. Yeah, and it's just like, oh, it's a free pattern, mm -hmm. so we're going to have to make it at some point yes. because we do like our hot drinks. And we do like our turtles. And I am drinking a uh, Twinings 
uh, Christmas tea. That's literally the title, Christmas tea, uh, right now. Because I like the holiday blends usually for most teas. Yeah, and I'm drinking a, I think it's Oregon Trails chai tea. This is for you, Michelle. I will share it to you if you ever, share it with you if you ever get share it away. Share it to you. Share it to you. <laughs> All you have to do, Michelle, is hop on a plane and get up here. I'll share it with you. Okay. Um, but yeah, I love my holiday teas. They tend to be a little, they have a little bit more of a tang to it, a little bit more mm. of a zing than a lot zing. of normal teas. Zing. 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 You see, you're waking up. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm channeling a child from our last. Season class. <laughs> he always no, it that. wasn't two. Two seasons. It, it was, was our last uh, first, first grade. grade class. Oh, that was a while back. Yeah. Yes, years ago. Let's yeah. We have his brother this year, but he doesn't do that. No, he doesn't. <laughs> okay. Anyway, let's get into um, what you're here for, presumably, which is the Well, crochet. what I wanted to say before we got into Nanny Crochet mm -hmm. is uh, check us out on Plurk. Yes. I am Franciscan Gypsy there. Uh, did I mention She's my name? Talia. Yeah, my name is Talia. Uh, <laughs> that is that really long introduction. <laughs> Hi, I'm Talia. I am also known as Franciscan Gypsy on Ravelry, Plurk, and just about everywhere else. Okay, I'm Marlisha, and I'm also known as Lady Furnico on Plurk and on Ravelry. Um, some of my writing sites, I am Shadowlight or Shadowlight One. Um, um, the Pen Oak and Needles podcast also has a blip. Um, sites, a blogger site, and a WordPress site. So I'm hoping, uh, based on comments on Plurk when I asked if people found show notes to be useful, I'm going to be doing show notes again. <laughs> they might not have the links always, <laughs> at least not for the patterns. Um, you need to make sure you email me your yeah, I show notes because that'll make yeah. my life a lot easier. Yeah. yeah. Um, and. I'll be adding those. It was just a matter of pasting and not me um, typing. typing them out. I can paste them to each of the sites with no issue. That way people who follow, me on, follow us on Blip will be getting it. Well, Blip doesn't do show notes. People who follow on Blogger will be getting People who follow on WordPress and people on Ravelry. So hopefully that will help a bit um, for members. Um, so after the very long intro, which was very fun <laughs> for me, <laughs> I don't know about y'all. Uh, y'all. All y'all. All y'all. Yes, we are in the South. Sort of. Okay, I need to set my tea down so I can show my first project. Let's switch off one project that's, after that's another. That's what I was I think we should do that. <laughs> because, because otherwise it's just one person talking all the time. I think it's a good idea. I think it's a new yes. setup. Yes, I like that much better. Because... I was going to suggest that and I forgot. <laughs> I did forget and I figured, well... If, Sounds better for anyone. Because, because I am the founderess of the, all the awesomeness. Ah! Okay. Excuse me. You don't want me. I guess I, you don't. What is no strong with this? It's up to you. I guess she just really doesn't want this. Maybe I'll keep it for my. Ow! And for the record, I didn't even hurt. touch her. <laughs> yes, you did. It hit my ear. Oh. <laughs> it hurt. Nice. Nice. No. My hair actually looks good today. Don't really show, show you. <laughs> okay. I'm afraid she'll go bald if I do nice. Well, life. my hair never looks good on the podcast. I've actually got a little bit of curl going here. And All right, Miss Vanity Fair. Show well, your face. I never look good on the podcast. I always just roll out of bed. Anyway, in my Nightwing awesome. bag by Papa Lou. Look, isn't he awesome? I love him. Yes, he's great. Uh, <laughs> he's my real boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> don't tell Babs that. That's true. <laughs> she might have an issue with that. <sighs> okay, anyway, this is my Nightwing bag. In it is the Heavenly Sapphire Project. This is a twin set sweater and cardigan by Claire Montgomery. It comes from the book Knitting Vintage. The pattern. It's so pretty. Is that one? And she's not doing the. Um, yeah, I'm not doing the pink thing. The pink on top here. She's just doing the red. Yeah. Or, well, it's blue. It's all. One color. One color. Excuse me. I'm making it for mom. Uh, and I'm using Knit Picks Annie and Treasure in the Sapphire Heather colorway. And I think I'm on the US 5s right now. I actually finished the round, so I'm not going to be pulling a Lindsay. Oh, yay. Lindsay didn't pull a Lindsay last time I watched her podcast. I know, she didn't. She didn't. I was so proud of her. She um. was proud of herself. <laughs> she looked like she was very proud of herself. <laughs> um. Actually, I could probably, if I'd wanted to, um, 
started into doing this, but I want to use my tea, drink my tea instead. So yeah. I am almost at the point where I can start the sleeve. Oh, look how pretty that is. Oh, the colors are actually showing up. Yeah, you can see the difference in the blues. Oh, my gosh. You guys have see. never seen the awesomeness of this before because I've always been in a room. Well, last, last week we showed it. Was no, I didn't bring it. Yeah, you did. Oh, I did. But you can see it better because it's flat. Oh, my gosh. Look at that. I love this color. It's I love gorgeous, this gorgeous. yarn. It's... Is this the Indian uh, treasure? This is Indian yeah. treasure, Legend of Alpa Baby Alpaca. Um, it's super soft, super light, but I think it'll be nice and warm. It's beautiful. Because uh, I, I don't like real heavy stuff. I get hot and I get cold. It's so. DK weights. Yeah. Um, and and she, with, the, with the twin set, because she always makes me things with the, well, this is the first one she's making me, but with the short sleeves, I don't like the shells. Mm-hmm. So she makes that it was hard to find twin sets that mm -hmm. had actual short sleeves, yeah. not the shells. Yeah, you have to go to the vintage patterns almost because for some reason they don't like to do it. But absolute happiness to it's work beautiful. with. I Lovely wait. on my hands after all the acrylic I was working with. And oh, look at that color. It's beautiful. It I is love just. That. It's so my colors. Delicious. 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 She just coined a new word. Delicious. Delicious. It's not in the dictionary do, yet. Do, 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 do. Patent pending. Oh, my turn. Yes, it okay. is. Isn't um, it a lot more awesome yes, that way? Yes, that way. Much better. I don't feel like I'm sitting here twiddling my thumb. I twiddle, did, twiddle, 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 <laughs> twiddle. I did some work on my um, Nicole blanket, the um, mm -hmm. half log cabin auburn blanket by Pearl Soho. Sorry. I've been working on this forever. Hey, Mom, we're twins. Yes, we are. Okay. <laughs> Except my hair is Okay, uh, quick, quick side note before she goes about the awesome sort of blanket. I am re-falling in love with this sweater that I made. Look at the go knock anything home. Um, I love the stitches. On. Look at the stitch that's a uh, a shell, and every time I wear it now, I'm like, it's so beautiful. I love it. Oh, I made it over a year ago. I love it. <laughs> <laughs> and I mentioned it to my co like, is it ridiculous? That I'm falling in love with this again. She's like, you're tired. <laughs> I'm like. Okay, I'll go talk to my knitting friends and they understand. <laughs> okay, I, so did, I did about, I did not pull a Lindsay, so I can't show it to you straight here. You did not? Provided I, no, I did not. So okay. you can show it straight. Yeah, that's what I said, I can show it oh, straight. Oh, you said, I thought you said cannot. I did not, in fact. You did not, in fact? No. Um, so, it's moving along. Um, it does seem to take forever. It's a little uneven in places, but I am learning to keep my tension. And um, I don't remember if I had started the ball, the new ball last, the new cake last week or not. Um, I think I did, but I know that I wanted to make a mention of Snooks, who was so excited that I'd be, <laughs> I'd be uh, starting the new ball. But this this would probably be my um, my mindless project for the foreseeable future. I'm not in a hurry to finish it. My husband's like, "Who is that for?" I said, "I don't know." He said, "Well, finish it." <laughs> <laughs> I will eventually. Um, it is um, being worked on the um, with the Red Heart Super Saver yarn for my stash. I have nine different colors. I think the next color I'm going to is a brown. I'm not sure. I have it notated in my pattern, but I will be starting to get into colors as opposed to cream and tan, and you know, then I'll be going into browns and greens, and I think I have red or something like that. Um, and I'm using a 10.5 inch high high fixed circular needle on a 32 inch cord. No special stitches needed, all garter, um, except you need to pick up stitches and do color work. And that's all I have to say about this particular project. So it's back to you. And I want my tea because I'm cold. I'm just writing a quick note. We won't be doing a lot of knitting and crocheting because it is very cold back here right now. And actually, I'm liking kind of this new setup. Mm -hmm. um, even if I'm not, I'm not bleh, even if we might not get much knitting crocheting done on the podcast, I like the setup of switching back and forth, which isn't very agreeable to knitting and crocheting. Yeah, um, and we may if it warms up, we may be able to, to do that. But or we might just start gripping. It might. Cool we'll, we'll see. Whatever we want. Um, whatever we want to do, we'll do. Yeah, <laughs> it'll be a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> but I like the switching back and forth. Oh, know? I do too. And I and I thought about that for a while. I just didn't say anything. Oh, well, why didn't you? I don't know. You're silly. I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's easier to agree with her, even when she's wrong. She only agrees with me because she knows I'm right and that I carry sharp objects. I carry sharp objects. Uh, 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 <laughs> <Obstetrics. laughs> 
Obsession. <laughs> Obsession. <laughs> okay, we're getting silly. Go okay. ahead. Um, your turn. Quick sip of tea. Okay. Alrighty. I need something to cover my um, tea with because mine's going to get a lot colder than yours, a lot yeah. quicker. Yeah. Um, but I want something. Well, you don't want something that's going to fall over. No, I was just thinking that. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Um, whoops. Let's see. Yeah, that should That work. works. Okay. I'm using the pen from that anyway. Okay. So, do you have a tissue? Uh-oh. It's not like I really need to uh, one. No, I don't. Uh, it's not a big issue. Do I need to get one? No, it's not a big issue. <laughs> You're not going to get bloody nose, are you? No, I'm not going to get bloody nose. Um, sorry, bloody noses are way too common in my experiences. Anyway, my next project that I worked on is the ladybird blanket. Um, it is in my knittings my bag. Oh, let me interrupt you. Mine was in my knittings my bag angel bag. That, that's where my pearl thing lives. Okay. Um, it's in my knittings my bag London bag. And that's by Lois. That's by Lois. Um, knittings my bag. <laughs> I don't know her last name. I don't think she wants her last name back. Anyway, now. yeah. Uh, in here is the hoodie bird blanket by Stacy Chalk. Fresh stitches. A blanket, yeah. Actually, I'm not going to... I'm writing down who I want to magic link whatever in Ravelry, and I'm like, huh, I'm already matching her pattern. <laughs> I'm not going to magic link her. I, otherwise, I'm going to be magic linking like 20 times past Sunday. Um, so, it's for me. No, it's not for me. I don't know why I have down that it's for me. Uh, it's for my friends Josh and Mel. Um, they will be, their baby is due in May. Yes, May. Um, sometime. So, this baby blanket will be for the baby. Um, I don't know yet if it's a boy or a girl. I haven't talked to them for a while. Mel was my roommate in college, and for one semester, Josh was my boyfriend. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's kind of weird. You don't want to know. You it's, really it's don't. It's a weird, awkward you really don't. situation. Any kind of soap opera you want to imagine, you just don't want to know. Um, anyway, I'm using USH Hook. Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn, in the colorways, orchid, yellow, black, and white. At this point, I'm only doing the orchid. And actually, I put this on hold because I'm getting to the point where I have, like, I think I have 10 inches to go. And I wanted to save this project for when I have to go into the jury pool next month to see whether or not they are going to select me for actual jury duty. And I needed a crochet pattern that was mindless and not a toy. And when I realized that I had that much left to go, I was like, this can be good. So it has gotten quite Pretty large. Yeah. It's a little crinkly because it's been, like, shoved. It's got a really <laughs> nice, typical kind of Stacy chalk patterning to it. Are you doing this in the back loops? Yes, I am. So you can see Stacy. Stacy Stace- only does things in the back loops because that's how she learned to crochet. And it's really neat because it gets, you get this nice little pattern. And I don't know if you can see it. If I need to get up and get tissue. Bring it up. Better. Sure. If you can bring this, if I can bring this up closer, you might be able to see she got. She has a very definite definition of her stitches. You can see little boxes, which is nice to look at, and especially nice in the in the toys because it shows you what you can see what rows you're working on in your limbs. It doesn't show the uh, and just show the stuffing. It doesn't show much. stuffing as badly. And I prefer this. I've gotten to the point that where I do toys and stuff. Even if it says to do both loops, if there's not a reason for it, I do the back loops. Exactly. I like, I like the way it looks. Because it's just, your stuffing hides better. Um, but yeah, that's that. And it holds the um, shape a little better. Yeah. <clears throat> that's that. It hasn't been worked on since I decided I could use this for jury duty. Okay. Are you done with that? I am done with okay. that. Okay. <clears throat> my next project in progress is living in my knitting's my bag, blue owl's bag. It's actually not blue owl's. It's Huh? It's a blue bag without blue bag without. I don't know what Lois calls this, but we'll call it blue we'll owls. call it blue owls because that's what I want to call it. And this is Mikey the tiger that was given to me as a wrap uh, several weeks ago by Lauren. It's her own pattern from Lemnet Crochet. I love this. I had to put it on hold for a long for a while because I didn't have the eyes to put in it, and I finally got the eyes in this weekend. Mm. And after a lot of debate and talking with this one over here about what colors work best, I finally found. The ter- decide what eyes I wanted to use. I think he looks super cute so far. Um, I'm so excited about this. My husband even likes him. My husband's name is Mike, so it's really <laughs> um, I don't know what I do with the muzzle. It's in here somewhere. 
Um, his name's the kid. The tiger's name isn't actually Mikey, Mom. It's Mike the Tiger. Mike the Tiger. I call him Mikey. That's what I named it. I know the muzzle. Oh, the, the muzzle's on here. I'm looking for the muzzle. There it is. <laughs> Look at his cute little face. <laughs> He's adorable. I haven't put the embroidery in yet. Lauren didn't say when to do it, but it didn't see. It didn't get done. Um, it didn't seem right to put the embroidery on before I put the no the snout on because it wouldn't stay shaped. So I'm going to put the embroidery on a little bit later. Um, I did choose to go with um, a yellow suncatcher eye. I think it looks really good for the tiger. Because tigers generally have yellowish eyes anyway. Yeah. And I made, so I, I finished the head. I finished the two ears. And I'm starting on the body. Whoops. I'm always losing my hook. I'm starting on the body, which is <laughs> this far <laughs> done. I, I thought I might have it finished. Uh, for you today, even with having waited. But I also, you know, changed things. Well, she changed the schedule, and also my husband had this very odd idea that he wanted, like, family time and a date night. So we watched a movie, um, we watched two movies. We watched our family time movie was um, Book of Kells, I think it's called. A little cartoon, very you well done. You guys were watching that before I left to work, left for mass and work everything. Right, right, but that's, oh, okay. I did crochet with that. I, uh, I, it was, it, I was too interested in the movie. Then we went to mass. I did a few things. I typed up the notes that I needed to do for my HFI and stuff like that. And we went and we did Spider-Man, the newest Spider-Man. And I was fully prepared not to like it. I didn't touch my crocheting. I just sat there and watched it. It was very good. So I got no knitting done, no writing done, no crocheting done. It was a movie day. It was fun. But anyway, the, the Mikey the Tiger, um, Mike the Tiger, I call him Mikey, um, was given to me by uh, Linda Crochet, uh, uh, Lauren. I do love it. And... Um, it's, it's, she writes a great pattern. If you need to do a pattern, a toy pattern or something like that, please go check out her things. She's got a lot of cute, a, a fair amount of cute things that she's putting up in her, um, what's it called, where, a Ravelry, where they have their little oh, the featured design. Their featured design. Check her out. She's really good. Mm -hmm. um, is that all for Mike? That's all for Mikey, yeah. Okay. Synchronized drinking. It should be a little bit for us. Yes. <laughs> Ravelinics. Ravelinics. Yes, I like that better. Kind of like when at school when I was when I was in school and they insisted on call when they got mad at us for calling quiet hours Nazi hours yeah. and told us we couldn't do it anymore. So we just did it more because they told us we couldn't do it anymore. It's a rebel in her. <laughs> well, it's stupid. You tell someone not to call something Nazi well, hours if there's a reason. Okay, but they were being Nazi. they were being a pain. Yes. <laughs> Okay, so the next question I want to talk about, I've been working on this one a fair amount because I've actually been taking my lunch breaks off the floor, been going to the break room, sticking my iPod in, and taking my half hour lunch break. I knit during my lunch break. I do eat too. Um, I, I throw something in my mouth at some other point in the break during the shift so I can sit down and enjoy my knitting time because for me, the knitting gives me enough relaxation that I can go on with the rest of my shift and feel good. <laughs> so, I need my tissue. I think because it's cold back here. That's why my nose is running. Uh, at least my mouth's not so dry. It was cracking my <coughs> So, my Christine socks are in, well, they're both in Flopper bags. Oh, well, this, I'm going to do it out of order because it's, it's here. First of all, this is my Batman Plover bag. And this is a gift from my sister for my birthday. And these are the kitties Plover Bird bags. Show them the Batman. They need to have Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle kitties. So, there we go. That's cute. Kind of hard to put a shell, I guess, on a cat. Yeah. And it's not as easy to tell. Yeah. But you're trying to make it. So, and the Batman one... Is she makes a fantastic bag, by the way. Yes, she does. I love her bag. And this is like this. I don't go anywhere without this bag in my purse. Excuse me. Um. So, sock no, numero uno. Excuse me. Mm. I have. I'm not sure if I turned the heel yet last time. I think I had. I think you had. I think you were talking about that because you were all excited about it. So pretty. So the heel is definitely well on its way. I think I have a couple more repeats, and then I'll be on the foot. 
I think it's very interesting. It's very variegated at the beginning, but when you get to the uh, heel, it's striping. <laughs> That's funny. So it's kind of cool. I love the colors. Are I gorgeous. love the gussets. I really do. I know a lot of people hate the gussets. I love the gussets. Some short rows. Um, no, these aren't short rows because I don't want to wrap and turn. Um, I don't know. It's just you can explain it to me later. It's not a big deal. I'll I'll find out on crafty. Yeah. I, have, I have to do some crafty stuff. I will tell you. I just later. did whatever <laughs> they told me to do in the pattern. <laughs> so I don't. It wasn't really short rows because there was no wrap and turn. Even though you do go back and forth. <clears throat> um, but yeah, it's the pattern. Um, the Simple Skip Socks by Adrian Koo. She'll poke me in the eye. Um, <coughs> I'm making them for me using US2 DPNs and Wild Hair Fiber Studio yarn in the blue pink colorway. And she has great yarn. She's a local yarn dyer for us. And she, or yarn dyers? Yeah, dyer. She dyes. Um, she does. Yes. She's, in, she's from our parish and she is fantastic. Uh, now, I've debated, know. uh, once I finish with the foot itself. And once I finished the other sock, I've debated picking up stitches around here and then using up the rest of the yarn to make a higher uh, ribbing how, section. How high does that go? It only goes up to about here, right? Yeah. It's, and it's just use up the rest of the yarn. Right. Um, maybe so you should maybe have enough to make a little snip? I don't know. So I've debated doing that um, to use up the rest of the yarn and get a slightly longer sock. It's so pretty. Um, Lots of colors. I mean, be a really long uh, ribbing, but I don't care about that. I don't care if it's a long ribbing. Um, so that's worth thinking about. I'll see what how I feel when I get to that point. Pretty. So I like. Let me stick it back in it. And my slip stitches. The slip VPN studio. Home, slip stitch studio. VPN holder. That's um, really well made. It is really well quilting, made. Quilting, right? Uh, yes, it is. Yes, quilting. And this is my favorite way of holding my DPNs because um, it really keeps keeps them safe. <laughs> I'm sorry. It makes me think of sticking out its tongue. <laughs> well, this makes me think of one of Bruce Wayne's parties. Yes. Not there, of course. No, of course not. He's gallivanting off somewhere else. Probably left Dick stuck there. To well, he probably had to take Dick with him because there yeah. was some sort of... yeah. Alfred. <laughs> yes. Alfred will manage it just fine. Yes, he will. Sorry. So, yeah. there we go. Okay. I do not have... Oh, I, oh. I have the other part of oh, the card. Oh, I'm sorry. It's, it's a two-parter because I was just starting to turn the heel. When I do a mask, I was like, oh, oh darn it. I don't have anything. This is a couple weeks ago. I don't have anything to work on during the sermon so I won't fall asleep. Uh, she does have permission from, from our Yeah, priest. I talked to, to my priest first because I was like, look, I have been falling asleep for every single sermon for over a month. Not because I want to. I've been doing everything I can to stay awake. Can I please knit? <laughs> and he said I could. Um, I said I'm like, oh, I feel like people are looking at me. I'm like, oh, I'm really paying attention. See? See, I'm looking at the priest. See? <laughs> <laughs> I'm actually getting more out of the sermons, yes. which is good because we have a really good. Our priest is really our priest good. Is Both really our priests good. are very good, but this one particular priest is a very, very good speaker. But here's the other sock. Actually, I've made some great progress <coughs> on it. Excuse me. You have, yeah. So there you go. <laughs> sock number two. I need to go pick up a stitch from um, a stitch a stitch marker from um, Retro Lemon. She has the cutest little pigs. So really cute. There's a plug for retro leather chicken. <laughs> Somebody will steal my pig. <laughs> well, you shouldn't have mentioned it. <clears throat> I should put more. I hope. <laughs> I'll shoot her a uh, PM if I want more. You're like, save me a pig. <laughs> it's a set. It's cute. And there's the kitty one. Very nice. Okay. <laughs> and that horrified meow is because I... I drop it part of my show notes. Drop it more than that. Hey, my, my DPN holders match my bags. Hey, Dawn, she matches. <laughs> Bruce Wayne partying in the Batman bag. Kitty's in the kitty bag. Yes. She can't be taught. 
<laughs> John is rubbing off on you. Oh, don't even attempt. <laughs> you should never do that again. Ever. <laughs> Ever. Well, okay. Mikey, well, how was the Mikey dance? Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do it. I'm not even <laughs> attempting. You have to just watch the turtles to see the Mikey okay. dance. Okay. Um, um, I do not have any other works in progress. Um, I'm finally more awake, so I hope to finish the... Um, um, shawl that uh, Michelle from Three Stitches gave me because I really do like it. It's just I've been so busy and so tired. And I just have like the one, I think it's an increase row, and then I have however many rows till I finish the ball. And it's not difficult. I just haven't had a chance to figure out that one row and the brain power to do it. So Michelle, I will do my best to finish it in the next couple of weeks because I really do love it. I want to block it. I want to wear it. So um, I just haven't. <laughs> you shouldn't lie about your mother. Tonight. You're going to get struck by lightning. Um, anyway. Will so, it in the flesh? No. Oh. Not Wally, not Barry, neither of them. Mm. Okay. So, um, anyway. Well, that impulse. No. Okay. Um, that is that. I um, have no more works in progress at this time. Oh, I, I'm working on the um, sampler blanket for, uh, we're both working on the sample block blanket or whatever. I'm not there. done yet. No, no, um, I, I wasn't finished. Oh, go ahead. I said, okay, go ahead. <laughs> I'm still getting used to the new... The new. Yes, go ahead. Because <laughs> you... That might have been your last... <laughs> but it's all about me. Because I still have... I worked on quite a few. You might have only worked on a few, not a few but I worked on a she bunch. She doesn't work on anything. She hasn't worked on my story. <laughs> okay, good. <laughs> Notice I talked, but she, she couldn't talk back. <laughs> I did work on it. Okay, we'll get to that. Okay. So, I guess it's going to be a one-man accounting for a little bit because... Except for the squares. Yes. Yeah. Um, so, the other um, project I have to... Talk, another one of the projects I have to talk about is in my... Green turtle bag. It's Spike. The Spike bag. Yes, it's the Spike bag, as we determined last week. Um, it is done by uh, the Plover Bird. I uh, put down her. Thing. Yeah, we are <coughs> talking about her quite a bit. So Plover Bird. Oh. Love her bags. Did I let's mention she did the Batman bag? Yeah. And the, okay. Um, and also. Yeah. I already mentioned that. Okay. So, sorry. Show notes. Um, this in here is Shades of Sherwood, which is the Goldenrod Shawlette by Marilyn Giselle Maupin. I am using US 10 Knit Picks Interchangeable Circulars. And the yarn is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes in the Canopy Tonal Colorway. Since I've moved on to the lace, I haven't noticed it bleeding on my fingers as much. The uh, color, not the lace. Maybe it was the density of... You yeah, know, we're working it. <clears throat> this is so pretty. So hang on, let me put this down here. Pretty. And am I actually? You are from the I know I'm not. You are. Oh, I am. Okay. <laughs> Flip side. I thought I maybe wasn't, but I didn't realize I was in the middle of the lake <coughs> section when I stopped last time. It's real pretty. Not only am I pulling a Lindsay, I'm pulling a Lindsay on the wrong side. I think. Oh, well, no, I'm on the right side. We're going to have to add that to the lectionary. Lectionary? Lex, L E X I. Lex lectionary? <laughs> okay. Again, I love the color quality. The color is so pretty. On yeah. this camera. Yeah. Or on this It's with very the woodsy. Very woodsy. You can see why I named Sherwood. And now you can see a beginning of the lace developing. It's very pretty. You can see up here. Hang on, let me. Over up here. And I think there's a little bit down let here. Let me try to put the wall behind it. Okay. Yeah. You can kind of see the lace developing. You want to pull, can you pull it a little bit? No, well, I have to be careful because. Yeah. Yeah. There you, you go. You can kind of see it developing right there. You'll see it better next time. Um, hopefully. Yeah. We'll see how much I work on it because I have some things that really require my attention right now. And I think I'm on like lace part six or eight or something like that. I have still like more than halfway to go. Um, 
And the lace takes a lot longer than the shawl itself did. That's part of the course of yeah. that particular one. And I think it'll probably block out to be fairly big, which is good. Um, let me... Where'd the bubbles go? The bubbles are bye bye. The I want the bubbles. We had our screensaver went on with all the little bubbles. Um, <clears throat> the bubbles went bye bye. Bye bye bubbles. Okay. Bye bye. You don't have anything to talk about yet. No, I don't. You can't. You were looking at your notes like stop. No, I wasn't. I was just doing this. Stop. Do you want simple? Want them to know that stop. Oh no! Be please don't. Please don't. Give me a tissue. Make sure you get the tissue. Please. Thank you. Think it over. Yes, I'm not attempting to sing, so I don't have my voice back yet. Okay. Oh, this doesn't go in. Yeah. Excuse me. I am so much more awake than I normally am. This is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to have to make sure. I, she's going to make me get up early on Sunday, and I'm going to not like that. Although next week, we're not doing this. No. We have to go to church at 7. We have to go to church at 7. Yeah. But next week, I'll be off on Monday. Yes. So, we might do like... No, work. I have to work out on Monday. <laughs> yeah. I really like it early in the morning. <laughs> I need to do my workout on Monday morning. Just, uh, okay. I think I had to pull my candle screen. I had it charging this entire time for this project in particular. Hopefully it's charged enough. Okay. So, I was leaving work, and, okay, that should be enough. Um, let me find the pattern. Okay, I was leaving work the other day and it was it was earlier in the week it was fr early Friday morning and it was like 10 degrees it was really cold mm. out yeah, it's been very cold and all I could think was like oh, I want some sort of gloves even if they don't have fingers I want gloves <laughs> so I wanted after she pulled out her other ones well <clears> I wasn't <throat> loving them they were so pretty though but I wasn't loving them and, the, and there was a hole where this uh, yeah. uh, thumb gusset was. So. There's a hole in your gusset. They're tired. They're tired. <laughs> so. Sorry. I was researching Cookie A um, mm -hmm. because I've heard a lot about her and I saw one of her designs. And on nice. my search, I discovered these things of beauty. They look like they're partially fingered, like they go up. Yeah, they go they go up high enough to make me happy. But what I'm saying is, they look like they actually have little. No, that's they just, don't. That's just the ribbing. Oh, okay, cause I've seen some where they have the thumb and they have like little half. Fingers. No, that's where the ribbing is. That's cool. I like that. Um, is it cabled? It it has a slight. It looks like oh, it's a twist, twist okay. uh, versus a cable. So what it looks like now, I haven't read the pattern all the way through, so I'm not giving anything away because I'm just judging based on the picture. Guessing. I'm just guessing it's a picture. It looks like it's a ribbing with some twists. It's very, very pretty. I love that um, color, too. Well, I didn't... Although I do have your your yarn mm -hmm. for your... If I had any left over from that, from her alpaca uh, sweater, I could totally use it and make basically the same thing they have here. But I decided to make this project... Let me plug this back in. Because uh, I don't need to use it right now. Um... Decided to make this project my Let Heaven and Nature Sing project. And that's what I call it. Because I'm using from the uh, Christmas BAM uh, for uh, Name's My Bag. Lois. Lois. Her Let Heaven and Nature Sing um, Chickadee bag. The yarn Let Heaven and Nature Sing was made for the BAM. Was made for the BAM. And that's what it looks like. Okay, who did it? Does it say on there? Spinning Fates. Spinning Fates, is right. And look, it even has a little chickadee picture, which is awesome. I think mine has a cardinal on it. And I will bring out the... This is a pretty color, too. Yes, I really love this color. Red is totally my color. It's um, also not really... It's a reddish kind of... The pattern is called Slant by Cookie A. Uh, the project is called the Heaven Nature Sing, based on the BAM oh. name. Um, using US4 DPNs, um, and I was a bad girl. I kind of did a gauge swatch. I tried doing the gauge swatch the way they told me to, and it was so fiddly, it was driving me nuts. So what I did was I knit through the project to a certain point and then measured 
where it would be on the gauge to watch, and it measured out okay. Um, so, uh, it's almost a red, rust, yeah. purple kind of, it's very pretty. And the size is going to be 7.25. What, 7.25? 7 you yeah. measure oh, okay, okay. around, at the palm, right above the thumb, between the knuckle, finger knuckles and the thumb. So, there's the yarn from the BAM, and there's my little chickadee. What kind of ribbon Stitch is that? marker. Oh, pretty. You know. Come here, buddy. You can't really see it. There you go. It's hard to see because it's so small, but it's so pretty. There. It's against small. your sweater. Yeah. Very pretty. Isn't he cute? I love him. But it's it's a knit one. Uh, knit one pearl two. Um, <laughs> ribbing. Was actually knit one pearl two knit one ribbing, uh, which eventually ends up being, you know, two knits in a row and two pearls in a row. So it's a nice ribbing. I'm almost at the end of the ribbing to start uh, building up to actual hand, and I did all this in one night. Because it moves pretty fast. I also focused on it in particular. I was like, I want to do this. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> and then that's all I did. So it's going well. I'm really enjoying this. And if she runs out of yarn, I always have I have the yarn left over from. Although I looked at it, I shouldn't run out of yarn. I have to figure out what I'm gonna do with mine. I may do the pattern that they that they gave us. I don't remember what it was. It was another fingerless mitt. I didn't like their pattern as much. Um, I'm gonna check it out. No slam against the pattern writer just didn't strike well, me yeah, as well. Yeah, it's a it's a very pretty pattern. Um, but yeah, that's all the whips. Except for the blanket. Is, well, mine is the, the the blanket. But we'll mention that in. FOs, which we're going after now. Okay. All right. Well, it's my turn. Yes. Um, I have two FOs, but I'll start with the one that does not. Well, it has to do with the blanket. I showed this to you last week. This is. Um, hey, they're both due to the blanket. Just doing one after another. Okay. Uh, this is uh, when I first showed this. It's, it's the um, Tiny Textures by Jan Eaton. Um, I, I, I didn't bring my book out with me, but it's from I think it's like two hundred blocks for blankets or afghans or something, something like by that. Jenny. And when I showed it to you, I only had the center of the square, because that was the pattern. It was the center of the square. But when I made the second square, it came out to 14 inches, and this was like nine and a half. So I added an edging all the way around. And it's just like, I guess you call it a cluster with a single crochet in the middle of each set of clusters. I don't know what I did there. Oh, okay. And then here, um, I wanted it to have the same amount of stitches on either side of the corner, so I, I just had those be double crochet. And I had it, I had the last row, I had it all double crochet, but it made it too big, so I pulled it out. My husband <laughs> was like, you're going to pull it out? So I'll make it single crochet, it'll be fine. And it was. Um, so this is what it came out. My, my husband said, I actually like this better than the other one we did. It's a little bit wonky right now, but when I put it together, it should be fine. Um, the other square is by, um, I found this fantastic crochet square designer on Ravelry, and a lot of her squares, if not all of them, are free. Um, her name is Melinda Miller, and this is her Thankful Stitches. And it's supposed to be 12 inches, but for me it came out to 14. I must have a very loose crochet. You do have a very loose crochet. And this is Because remember, your dog ended up bigger than mine, too. Yeah. Um, I haven't woven in the ends. I was planning on doing all these weaving ends and things like that. We begin today. Anyway, this is the square, and I think I think I did something a little wrong on the center piece, but it still looks all right. Um, so that's what it looks like, and it's Very called pretty. it's called the um, Thankful Stitches. Okay, and I used a, an H hook for this, um, as I did for the Jenny. They were uh, H, and I used I love this yarn. I think this is. Light gray. This is the teal from Red Heart, and and this is um, no one can see pink. what you're looking at. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I was looking down. I was being good. Well, you had it down. off camera to the side pink, like this. So the pink, the teal, the pink and the gray are I love this yarn. The green, I believe, is Red Heart. So I don't know if I'll be continuing this or not, and I'll explain why later. Um, I'm a, I'm not a block person, so this is effort for me. But I am learning stitches and things, you know, learning how to do things. That's good. Now, my FO 
is also partially whipped. Like, it, her FOs are partially whipped. Right. Mm-hmm. In <laughs> my Bat Girl Pablo bag. Who also makes fantastic. Yes. Is my Afghan square. And it's, like Mom said, it's for an Afghan square, year long, knit along, crochet along, um, by Knit Nerd, uh, who also has a podcast. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't make blankets. Well, this is all Kathy's fault. I mean, <laughs> let me qualify that because I have two blankets that I'm working right now. This is all Kathy's fault. Yes, it is. Yes, we love her anyway. I don't like making blankets. Every blanket I've made, I've torn out. I have torn out. Torn out. <laughs> torn out. I have Rip back. I have never completed successfully a blanket. Um, so it's strange that I'm working baby blanket and a full size blanket. At the same time. Yes, she has been successful in um, taking us out of our comfort zone. I don't like blocks. She doesn't like blankets. So. <laughs> um, <coughs> but because it's small, it's a little better. Mm-hmm. And, and also what makes it better for me is it's something I really want the finished product. I'm getting excited about the finished product. I'm making a Justice League blanket. Um, it's based on the Justice League scarf by Marsha Augusta. Auguste? Uh, huh. It's a girl who designed it. It's funny. <laughs> For one thing, this is a knitted pattern. Uh, it's, it's not only a knitted pattern, it's a double knitted pattern. Um, For those of you who aren't familiar with it, because I wasn't, it's where you have on one side the color you are planning on having, and then on the other side the colors are flipped. So it's usually used for, I guess, patterns that only have two colors. Um... But I made that. I decided to make a blanket instead. I decided to make this a crochet pattern instead. So I took her charts and then just adapted the charts to what I needed for crochet. I'm doing single crochet and I'm using um, a USN hook. Um, and Hobby Lobby, I love this yarn. The current square I have is only in yellow and black. Um, and. Without further ado, I don't. Eh, come here. Here's the Batman square. Oops, he's upside down. There we go. Looks cool. It looks like a Batman. It turned out a lot better than I thought it would. Especially once I added the edging to make it the 14 inches I wanted it to be. So every square is going to be 14 inches to make a nice size afghan. Before it was just wasn't going to be big enough, and I was like, I don't want to make more squares. Mm-hmm. I just I know I won't complete it then. So I made bigger squares. That that works. Um, work. And you can always put in the um the little strips if you need to. Mm-hmm. And I'm also going to do an edging around the blanket. Itself. Right, right. Um. So there you go. There's Batman. Um. First square completed. Next month I'm going to either do Nightwing. Green Lantern or Flash? I want to do something completely different color. I might want to wait on Nightwing. Yeah, I might. It's be so dark. Yeah. Um, Excuse me. So I might do. I might do Flash or Green Lantern. Yeah. Um, or Superman. Superman's red and blue, right? Uh, and red, white. blue. And white, right? Yes, I have one more color in there. Uh, we'll figure it out. Um. Silver. No. The silver. No. What color is his? Uh, I can see it's only red and blue. But it has some kind of a color where it has like a, a triangle where his S is. I can't remember what color it is. I'm not a huge Superman fan. No, I'm not either. Um, but. Bizarro. <laughs> but yeah, I'll okay. figure out what I'll do for that later. I might do Flash. Because that, that is my favorite color that's red. Yeah. But what was interesting for this um, was trying to make it so it was reversible. And I think it's pretty well reversible. Crochet is easier with that than knitting. So it's pretty well reversible. I mean, there's probably a side that looks better than the other, but I'll try to put all the best looking sides on the same side. So, I mean, it'll still be reversible, but there'll be definitely a side that I prefer to be on top. I don't think people will be staring at it anyway. Yeah. They're just going to be cuddling up in it. By people, you mean me. You think I'm going to let anyone else use it? <laughs> I will. <laughs> I wait to go to work <laughs> and use it. Um, yeah, it's nice and soft in the top of the lobby. Yes. Okay. How much more do you have? Anything else? Oh, that's all for FOS. Okay. Um, you know, I think it actually goes faster when we do that. It does. It does. Well. It does. Um, 
I'm not going to go through in any detail my hooks and needles, what's on the hooks and needles. I'm just going to say that it's basically the same. Um, I know I'm looking down. You mean next on the hooks and needles? That's what I said. You said what's on the hooks and needles? Okay. Um, I'm not even going to talk about what I, I'm going to do I, I'm just, basically it's the same, so I'm not going to go through it. Because, um, yeah. So, you, that brings us to stash and half. Oh, this, this is just an extra piece of paper. Don't put it on my stuff. I need to get to it. Well, what am I going to do with it? <laughs> Stash enhancements. Um, do you want to go first? Do you want me to I just finished talking to you. Okay. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby. <laughs> <laughs> I knew there was it. many much stash enhancements. Involved. Yeah. Uh, well, do, are we gonna do, are we gonna do back and forth? Yes. Yeah. Okay. I'll start with Hobby Lobby then, even though that's out of order. Um, we went to Hobby Lobby because I I had um purchased online to support Hobby Lobby before some yarn, but I'd done it with the idea of toys. And when we started with the squares for um, this afghan, I found that I probably was going to need some more. So I picked up some more toy yarn, which I'm not going to show you because I have too many, you know, too many things to show you as it is. Um, I did also pick up some sock yarn, and I'm only going to show you one of each. I picked up um, three of each. We wanted to see if we could get away with using at least some uh, box store yarn for sock yarn as opposed to Etsy or to um, uh, knit picks or something like that. So there's hers. So this is, it's called Walk Away Sock Yarn. I don't know if that's the name of the... That's, it's by Yarn B. Okay, it's by Yarn B. And there is, um, I can't read these without my glasses. What does it say? This is 45% um, bamboo from Rayon, 15% polymed, polyamid. And 40% wool. And both of them are that. They're both that. And they're mine are not actually washable in the washing machine. I have to do it flat. And, I, and they have like 200 yards or 218 yards. So I bought three of them in case I want to crochet socks as opposed to knit. And I still came away with less money than I would do from some of the indie dyers, which I like to do, but I can't always afford it. So I hope this works. I have a kind of a blue, purple, yellow kind of thing and a purple, green. There's a blue in there. I can kind of see a... Um, pa pattern for me <laughs> in my cooler She colors. likes a lot. Her there's some things like I would never have picked those ever. Um, I also went with Walk Away, and it says it was only four ninety nine. And I would pick that at her other one too, which is <laughs> I just didn't have the money for it. Um, that's four ninety nine. It's walk coming away. up a little bit bluer than it is in the screen. Yeah, I guess there's, it is. This is more this kind of a lighter color here. It's more of a kind of a teal or turquoise or something that is showing up. So it's, it's slightly off, but not a lot. Um, it is whee, flying. Um, it is super washable with 25% polyamid. Um, and you, I could probably use one of these per sock. So yeah, I got two. Color, show the other color. And then the other one. This is pretty. This is another. See, she might not pick some of mine, but I pick a lot of hers. This is pretty. Is this one? And that also is showing up a little more blue for some reason. The greens are showing up just a little more blue. There's more green in there. Yeah, there is see. a lot more green in there that you can see. Maybe it's the back that we're seeing. See if you can turn it over if, the, if it shows over. No. It's just you see some of the green. It's yeah. just not popping like it does yeah. in reality. But it's still better than it would have been any other room. Oh, yeah. It, it, it's, it's a beautiful colorway. I would have. If she doesn't use it, it'll be, ha, bye-bye. Yeah. <laughs> you come near my stash, I'll slap your hand. You can try. Oh, it was funny. Um, Polly Knits, I was mentioned, he was talking about how I like my square. I was like, thank you. And, I'll, you know, probably end up poking my eyes out, you know, by the time that I'm done with all the ends I have to weave. He's like, oh, get your mom to weave them in for you. <laughs> Thanks, Polly. <laughs> I have nothing better to do. <laughs> and I'm like, yeah. I probably have to give her my firstborn child, mm -hmm. and what made him think I would want to do your end? <laughs> <laughs> I'd have to give her like my choice of what her choice of whatever's in my stash. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> which isn't happening. <laughs> I don't mind doing the ends on my project. I don't necessarily want to do it on hers, especially when she has like a gazillion ends. But I, I really don't mind doing the ends. I like to do my own ends, even though I don't like doing ends. I prefer to do my own, but right. it made me laugh. I, I actually what, hadn't told you that I either. Wondered, I wondered why he said that. He must have seen the last podcast where I said it mine. Yeah, maybe. Yeah. yeah. He makes me laugh. And I will be watching his podcast. I just found it, so I need to go look at him. Yeah. I'm looking forward to that. 
I'm way behind on all my podcasts. I'm con- I'm trying to catch up. There's just so many people I watch, and I yeah. I have a I I have to catch up. I, Whenever I, I feel the, like I'm caught up, I get behind again. Well, and there there are phases. I mean, there yeah. are certain times that we can watch certain ones. If I'm tired and stuff, um, I have to leave Lauren when I'm awake. Because you see, I had to use Lauren, watch Lauren when I'm tired because no, she wakes me up. No, I have to be able to be kind of cognizant of what's going on because Lauren's so energized. If, she, if, I'm, if I'm too tired, I'm like, I can't deal with this. <laughs> but she she makes me laugh and she makes me smile. But if I'm tired, I'm like, oh, no. <laughs> so I watch her when I'm, when I'm awake and I need to be pepped up a little bit. And yeah, her tired is my energized. <laughs> but I love Lauren. She makes me laugh. Okay. Um, okay, what are we looking for? Um, uh, next part, your chart, next part is fashion needs. Oh, um, I thought you mentioned these already. I did. I'm not using it. Oh, okay. I didn't have a chance to block it out. I on the same trip that we went to Hobby Lobby, we stopped at Books a Million, and I got a couple of books. I didn't intend to, but they are really good. And the funny thing is, is they're by the same people. I didn't realize it when I picked it up. They're they're uh, this one's called Get Started in Knitting. I don't know if you can see it there, and it's by um, D K. I think it's a British book. I don't know. Maybe not. It seems to look like. Maybe not. I wonder if DK Yarn is referring to double knitting. Like, it is. I, I said something like that. I mean, but like the kind of double knitting where you do the color work. Oh, I don't know. Um, this is very detailed. <clears throat> it goes step by step. Um, for people who like me who have problems with <laughs> understanding written directions sometimes, it does have a couple of simple patterns in it, um, which I will probably try. They have a raglan sweater in here. Um, they have a stuffed toy, which would be a nice intro for me. Um, I may try to do this. Oh, it shows how to put a zipper in. Um, it may. Um, I forgot where I was going with this, but I may. I may try to go from the beginning, along with my crafty classes. Um, this this looks really good. I picked up also the crochet one, just because I know how to crochet fairly well. But there are things that. Um, Obviously, you always keep learning, and there are things that I haven't done yet. Maybe you always keep learning. I know everything. Yes, that's why we <laughs> have problems with you. This also tells me how to read charts, which is really important. Um, I have a pattern in my queue for a shawl that I wanted to do for an upcoming project, and I seriously thought about not doing it because it doesn't have a written pattern to it. And I was like, you know, that's not really a good idea. Let me see if I can um, learn learn how to read the pattern. And this found this breaks down reading the pattern into simple steps. So this is a really, I'm really impressed because I haven't gone into it in detail, but um, it's just like the other one, it's very good in terms of showing step by step what you have to do. And I'm really pleased with this. I had to spend, I spent about $30, $40 more than I wanted to with these books uh, because, because they, were not, they were not on sale, but they were well worth it, I think. Mm-hmm. What was the same time? Oh, because it was an actual bookstore instead of... It was a books... Of, yeah. It was at books... It hadn't been to bookstore. We, did, we don't go to bookstores very often. When we do, we buy stuff. Yeah. So um, this is... Uh, if you if you want to brush up or you need to learn something, I highly recommend taking a look at these books. Take a look at them before you buy them just to make sure. But I think that you might uh, get something out of them. They're very good. Uh, the crochet one is by Sally Harding. Um, it doesn't say what the uh, knitting one, who who did the knitting one. They're both Sally Harding ones. Where's the guy? Oh, never mind. I, I said, ignore me. Um, I said, I just assumed. I thought I saw it on it, I didn't. Okay. Well, yeah, I think this is just by, yes, it is. It's London, New York, Munich, Melbourne, Delhi. Um, so, yeah, and apparently they have a website. It's uh, www.dk.com. So if you want to check it out online, you can. Um, which you can get to my stash enhancement. Uh, I had to start knitting because my hands are getting cold and I'm out of tea. Yeah, um, too. She's almost gone. So, do you have anything else? Uh, stash enhancements wise, just free patterns, but I'm not going to show them. Okay. Because I want to make sure before I started really going that I wasn't cutting you off. Okay, so. Mom got for me for my birthday. I don't want to pull them all out of that. Pull the big one out so that she can see that. Um, yeah. They're peacock stitch markers. And there's a reason behind this. Well, you guys remember when I made C.M. Yeah, yeah. And that's because of him. 
So there you go, my awesome little peacock stitch markers. One big one for like end of row, then around, and then the little ones for marking other places like sleeve um, increases and decreases. Um, let me just get the air bubble. This is going to run just a little long. We do apologize. Yeah, but I think it might be more entertaining ish. I, I hope know. so. Um, We're both more likely as you are. Um, and we had just a little bit more to go, so it's going to be a little Yeah, bit and more. also we worked a lot more on the projects. I had a ton of projects this time that I worked <clears> on. <throat> I didn't expect to. Um, so, more Clover Bird yumminess. I showed the birthday one already. Yeah, I can't believe she did this. <laughs> oh, not that one. The other one. Um, this one is like a special Valentine's Day one. It's not like her normal ones. Okay. Her normal sock ones look like this. They have the thing at the side, this at the side, and it's pockets inside, and it's shaped like this. This one has more like her medium bags, no pockets inside, and it's just a little smaller. So, um, I think it was just a specialty bag, but I love the fabric. I didn't quite realize it wasn't like the other bags when I picked it up, but I do like it. It's good for a sock project or something. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. It probably won't come in my purse with me necessarily, even though it's Smooshy enough. It doesn't have the uh, lead for you. Yeah. Um, but it's nice. So pretty. Uh, let's see. I mentioned that. Oh, the other one. Yeah, she was mad. Yeah, I had, I had told her I wanted this bag. I think I picked it up before she told me. I don't think so. Look at the piggies. Isn't that gorgeous? Look at the piggies. I wanted that bag and she took it. Wink, 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 wink. But wink, it's wink, nice. wink, wink, wink. Look at them. Wilbur. No, it's Charlotte's, Charlotte's pig. Um, is that Wilbur? Is it Wilbur? I think it might it's be Wilbur. Wilbur. I might think be Wilbur. Wilbur. Yeah. Charlotte's Web. Charlotte's Web, yeah. It's not that a loop pig. No. <laughs> <laughs> What's his name? Um, I don't know. They always call him pig. Yeah. Um, you are the yeah, yeah. Don't make it longer than it has to be. You. It's got a pretty pink interface. Yes. Inter, um, not interfacing. Um, Inside, yes. I like it. It's very pretty. It, oh yes, I like it too. So she was mad at me. Yes, I was because I was. Now, to be to be fair, she did offer to give it to me. Yes, I did. I would have paid it for, her, but um, she got it first. So I I've got a couple others that I'm looking on line on Plumberbird. Then I also and, picked up. Um, well, I picked up a lot of blanket yarn from Hobby Lobby for my squares. But I'm not showing all that. <laughs> You'll be here forever. Yes, because <laughs> I had to pick a lot of colors. But I picked up the Sweater Girls. It has some gorgeous projects. I marked some. That's Another so twin set. Um, let's see if I can find the main page. Yeah. Oh, that's, well, that's the main page for that picture. Is that the same one? No, it's not the same one. Let me move this down a little bit. Look at that. That's so pretty. Isn't I don't that beautiful? You can see it real well, but it's so pretty. It's got some lovely cabling. Oh, there it's a full page. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Isn't that pretty? It's just gorgeous. Uh, I'd have to make it a little longer. longer. Yeah, it's a, it's like a, uh, what was it? Uh, I think it was, um, Nitner was talking about a sweater like that. I forget what she called it. Three quarters or something. I think it was Nitner who was talking about it. Um, so I'd have to get definitely more yarn than what would be required there. And this one's so pretty, too. And then, this one. Isn't that gorgeous? I like the other one better, but... They're both pretty. So, two other twin sets for options for mom. And actually, what... Oh, look at the mitts. I was going to make these originally, but I wanted something on the thumb, and that's yeah. why I did the yeah. other one. Those are pretty, though. Um, the lacy knit uh, wrist warmers... They didn't have anything on thumb, otherwise I would have made them. That was my plan originally. And that's what I was thinking of when I was cold that day. But it just didn't cover the, the thumb. And I wanted something on the thumb because I drive a lot with my thumb touching the wheel. Oh, well, this is pretty. Yeah, there's a lot of pretty patterns. The good, the good thing about this is if she wanted to make, I don't see myself making a lot of sweaters. I have to get started on making one. Uh, um, I like the idea of being able, she can make, Different, uh, to, different sweaters to go under. You yeah. know what I'm saying? You could mix and match if you wanted to, or if you didn't want to make the cable design, you could just make the jewel neck collar and make it plain, mm -hmm. yeah. which is nice. So, <coughs> excuse me, sweater girls. 
Very awesome. And it's by, uh, well, the book is by Madeline Weston and Rita Taylor. I'm sure the patterns are done by many different people. <laughs> so I got that at, uh, not Borders, uh, Books a Million. Books a Million, yeah. We're very sad that Borders shut down. Sock Knitting Masterclass. Cool. And that's by Anna B Ann Bud, but she's not the one who wrote all the patterns. It has a uh, tutorial uh, oh, DVD in the back. The first one that caught my attention. Oh, I don't like asymmetrical. <laughs> yeah. Asymmetrical cables. Well, what, what makes asymmetrical? See, it's. Oh, I see. It's not. It's not the size. It's the. Yeah. Okay. And those of you who are Cookie A fans probably recognize this as one of her patterns. And that's what sent me off on a Cookie A search on Ravelry to find a bunch of different patterns. Um, but she has a, a club. Yes, yeah, she does have a club. But it's, there's a waiting list for it. Yeah. For all of them. And then the other one that really caught my attention. Okay. Now this is color work in it. Yeah. Um, Looks almost like a embroidery. I'm willing to do toe up even for these that's socks pretty. at some point just because they are so pretty. And that's by, they're Bulgarian, Bulgarian Blooms by Priscilla Gibson Roberts. That's really pretty. Cool. So, really nice book. Um, and that's all for Session Hands. That'll do, paper. Do we want to do a Sessions and then the you know, uh, Autism thing and then, do you want to do it in order here? Let's hit Writing first. Okay, Writing, I didn't do a lot of Writing. writing and Thank Yous first. Okay, Writing and Thank Yous first. We're, we're going to go a little out of order because we have something to say afterward that's kind of important. Um, the Writing kind of suffered this week. Um, I got notification that I was enrolled for a free writing class at WBU, which is Writers Village University. University. Great place, a lot of free classes if you remember. I don't remember signing up for this class, so I didn't budget time for it. So I was scrambling to try to do the first lesson. I don't know if I'll be able to keep up because I didn't know it was coming. I may not do it this time around. I may wait till next time around. But I've been trying to uh, organize an outline for my second novel. Uh, while I'm doing the synopsis for the first one, and nothing was really getting done. I did part of the um, of the outline. It was hard because I at first had to choose which novel to do it on. But so I don't know if I'll be doing that or not. I just, but I did try to do it. I didn't do any writing other than that. Um, so hopefully I'll be able to do some later. Um, I do have a thank you, um, but it has to do with what I'm going to be talking about later. Uh, so I'm going to hold off on it until we get to that point. And uh, session. I'm trying to bring up one of my Oh, obsessions. I didn't do the obsessions, did I? No. Okay. Well, do, do you have any? Go ahead. I have to bring mine up. Okay. The obsessions are basically the same. Yarn patterns, especially the free ones. Um, Etsy, uh, getting back into my writing and podcasts, which I'm trying to catch up on. And uh, the newest obsession is not an obsession yet, but will be from now on for a while. So I will mention that later as well. Okay, so my obsession. Oh. Okay, let's go back. All right. So I want to make it bigger. bigger. Um, I don't think this becomes bigger. Okay, well I have to do the best I can. That might be a little better. I'm not sure if it really is the same size. Okay, so this doesn't get any bigger. <laughs> no, that's not really not going to be good enough. Um, try it down. It might be easier to see those um, up and down for some reason. I really don't think it is. Well, see, see what it looks like on the screen. Yeah, it's hard to see it. It's hard to see it. Really, it's these super cute birds and it showed up on my Facebook it's a knitted pattern knitted patterns and it comes from the Simply Knitting magazine what's super cool about this is I posted and go oh my gosh I need this magazine I have to knit these birds <laughs> because I love birds I love making toys hence I need to make these birds <laughs> um, so I looked into buying I think it's European magazine I didn't want to get into getting it at work because I was at a point where I couldn't 
And one of my writing friends, who I did NaNoWriMo with one year, is a friend of mine on Facebook, and she sent me a message and says, Oh, I have it! I have it! And I can send it to you! Yep. Um, writers, are, uh, writers and knitters and crocheters, crafters, they're all nice people. Very nice people. And she will... Oh, she'll post it in the morning. Okay, don't mention her name unless you No, I won't. Permission. Yeah. So she knows who she is. <laughs> she probably won't even see the yes. podcast. But <laughs> yes, it's so exciting. I mean, out of the blue, ah, uh, this lady just is like, "Yeah, I have this pattern." I didn't even know she knit. Um, <laughs> I have this pattern. I have this magazine. What's your address so I can send it to? I'm like, I don't have to pick it up. And she didn't answer my question about what I owed her. Yeah. So, um. I'm not going to push it again because I don't want to insult her. Right. I'll just send her the first bird I make. Yeah. Uh, she will not be watching this. Yes. Hopefully not. <laughs> so I am super excited. I, I mean, I, that's just that was completely out of the blue. Um, it made me really happy. Um, let me plug this back in. So that is one of my obsessions. I only found out about this when I came home from work at 7.30, looked at my... Facebook, check some things while I was waiting for her to get the show notes ready. I'm like, huh? Oh my gosh. <laughs> so, you're squealing like a pig. <laughs> <laughs> that sounded like Mikey. Oh. oh. <laughs> that just sounded like Mikey. sounded like one of our kids. <laughs> okay. So, I'm going to let you take the lead for this because this is your baby. Okay. Um, I went and checked. This, this started out... Before she starts off, this started out the minute I invited her to be my co-host for this podcast. Back when this was Nurse with Needles, Phil, um, this idea popped into her head, and she's been wanting this for since May. Well, since longer than that, because whenever it was, I started. Popping. Whenever she joined me, well, since later than that. Sorry. Yeah, it's probably. I think I started. It was seven weeks in that I did. So yeah, you started May sometime in July, probably. Yeah. Um, as you know, people who have watched this podcast before know that we have an autistic, well not autistic, she's Asperger's, which is an autistic spectrum, spectrum disorder. disorder. Um, my daughter, her sister, um, mm -hmm. is in that spectrum disorder. So we're very interested in that, um, particular, um, I don't want to call it, keep calling it a disorder, it's, it is what and they are. Um, it, we, I'm also a special educator, which also kind of flows into that. But anyway, autism... That particular cause. Yeah, that particular. Um, autism Awareness Month, I believe, is in April. That's what I, I checked. I'll go back and make sure. Um, and we wanted to do something to increase awareness of autism and the Asperger's, that spectrum disorder. So what we wanted to do was to have a uh, knit-along, crochet-along for... Um, autism awareness. Um, it will probably run from mid-February until uh, the end of April, which would be April 30th would be the closing date. Um, we got into touch with uh, Three Stitches, with Michelle, Catherine, and uh, Lindsay. Lindsay. They very graciously uh, decide, are willing to co-sponsor this with us, so we'll be doing it as a joint uh, crochet knit along. Um, really excited about that. I'm so excited about that. We wanted to do something with them for a long time. So excited that, that they... That part was my suggestion. That was her suggestion, <laughs> although I was wholeheartedly... Oh, yeah. It. She was um, immediately on board. We, we love them. They, they are fantastic, and um, they are excited about it. So we will be working out the details. We will get details to you as they come up. Um, all we, all I have in mind right now is, and I've been running it past Talia, is it does have to be knitted or crocheted, mm -hmm. um, a project. It needs to use primary colors. If you look at some of the autism um, awareness, uh, like the, the ribbons, mm -hmm. those are the colors that we're looking at. It doesn't have to be just those colors, but we're looking at the bright, vibrant, jewel tones. Not saying you can't have white and black in it or whatever, but we really want the bright, jewel clothes. Make sure clothes. to communicate all these things with Michelle. Right. Michelle. I, I, yeah, I do have to get this to Michelle. Because, um, I mean, if it's going to be a joint thing, we really need to yeah. Although, although, Yeah, although she does know it. I'll explain why in a second. But, um, and we will get this to Michelle. I was just writing up the show notes and putting this together. So even Ty didn't know I was talking to her. I was, I was typing this. So um, 
we'd like to have at least three of the colors in the project, okay? Uh, three of the primary colors. In, you can do as many as you want, but we like to have at least three to make it that rainbow effect. Um, Which means my squares are out. <laughs> well, no, I'm not saying that a square can't be as long as all the squares together equal more. Because one square is not a project unless you do it separately. You know, you know because a lot of places count that as a project. Right, but if you want, you could you couldn't en you couldn't enter a square that has two colors. But once you put the square in with another one. And if it had three or more colors. No, 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 that's stretching in a bit. Well, we'll, talk, we'll talk about it. This is still very mm -hmm. nebulous. Okay, we're still, we're still working on it. Um, we, we, have, we found some patterns. Because we want people to get a prize, could potentially get a prize for right. each square that they enter. Okay, so well, if you're counting it well, that, but then, in conjunction with the other one, it doesn't well, really work. Well, no, that's what I'm saying. If they want it, they could put each square in mm -hmm. if it has three colors. Yeah, but if the square doesn't have three colors, they'd have to add to another one and put it together. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Okay, that makes more sense. Okay, that, but um, we will post some pattern suggestions to our Ravelry group thread. They are not what you must do. No. Okay, they are just simply suggestions. And some of them benefit the some of them autism whatever society. Right. Um, and I do want to. That leads me to my thank you, um, Michelle. I love Michelle. When we asked her about this, the next day I got this out of the blue wonderful gift pattern from her. It's called the Puzzle Pieces, and it's a knitting pattern by Megan M M E, and it is knitted, as I said. And you can see, you knit the pieces, and it's a puzzle, and it's autism awareness. This is wonderful. And I looked on the site, and part of the profits go to autism awareness. Um, so you might want to check them out. Um, it will be linked on the show notes. Mm -hmm. um, this, or at least mentioned, or at least right. mentioned. Um, if I have to go back and link it, I will. Mm -hmm. um, so this that is, might become your part of the show notes. You link of the stuff I post. <laughs> well, we'll figure it out. Um, but anyway, this is one of the patterns that we will be suggesting. Show notes was always easy for her. She just let Talia do it all. I gave you all my stuff. If you had told me to email it, I would have emailed oh, it. Oh, I didn't think of it. <laughs> okay then. Um, so this is this was from Michelle. I love this. I she's <laughs> I'm gonna have to learn how to wrap and turn and uh, do short rows. I have to get on Crafty to do that, but I want to definitely try this. Um, we are looking to give prizes. We don't know what they will be or how many. If anyone is interested in donating a prize, we will gratefully accept it. This However, is no pressure. No anything. pressure. No obligation. We're just saying, hey, if anyone's if, if interested, anyone, anyone will be interested. Please, you know, PM either Kaya or me and let us know. Um, there is no obligation. There Absolutely is, none. We don't want you to feel that way. We just want to be able to give as many prizes as we can. Yeah. So, um, you, and then, uh, you know, so, yeah. And I, I will have to talk to Michelle and see if, you know, if somebody wants to contact her about that as well. Yeah. Okay. So, um, yeah, I think that's about it. It will be going, like I said, probably until the 15th of February, the day after Valentine's Day, mm -hmm. until April 30th is our tentative date. Yeah, so okay. there's some time. There's some time to take a look at patterns, to get an idea, to do, and this and this shows some of the bright colors I was talking about too. I don't know if you can see it with the glare, mm -hmm. but you get an idea of what I'm talking about. Basically, think rainbow. Yes, exactly. And rainbow. That's gonna cover yes. you. Yes. So um, we would love to have you do this with us. You know, toys, scarves, blankets, uh, uh, squares, happiness, uh, shawls, anything that's happy, happy, happy for the Autism Awareness Month. Because a lot of those kids love their bright colors. Yes. Yeah. yeah. And they love to know that we know that they are loved. Mm -hmm. Okay? Um, yeah, so. Do you have anything? Do no, I thank that's, you? Uh, no, I don't think I have. Thank you for all of you for being our viewers oh, and being yeah. awesome. You guys are great. Please visit the Ravelry group. Be active. I mean. Say hello. We're, we're a little slow on. Um, on answering, but we do answer, and we tend to answer in batches. Mm -hmm. So don't get discouraged if you sit, if you think that your response has not been answered. And you know, play together. We yes. like seeing you guys yes. play together. Yes. It's be, not, nice. It's be nice. Be nice. Yes. <laughs> be nice. Uh, I don't want to have to put anybody in the corner. Okay. It's not just a place for us to talk to you guys. It's a place talk for to all. Each other. It's community. It's a community. You know, take your tea and your knitting and your crocheting and your coffee and come join us. We will even put up with the coffee. Yes, even oh. I like the smell of coffee. Oh. It just hurts my stomach now. I can't. Michelle enjoy has it. to bring chai tea. I'll have chocolate chai tea, Michelle. Alrighty. I 
I think we have gone on long enough. Yeah. I had a lot of fun this Ooh, time. Oh, goodness. Though. Yes, I did. Uh, sorry it took so long. We This was important. And um, and this was a lot of fun. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Um, I hope you come and join us again. I mean, this was a blast. Yes, we enjoyed talking with you, knitting and crocheting. Well, I didn't do any crocheting. I just had tea. <laughs> but well, having tea with you. We might not always be knitting and crocheting anymore. I'm doing it now because my hands are frozen. Yeah, and if we don't stop, I'm going to be frozen to the chair. So we need to say goodbye. Um, she needs to get to bed because we have to work on CCD when she wakes up, and I have to get my day started. But good morning. Have a wonderful Sunday or whenever it is you're talking, you're watching this. Yeah. Um, and uh, happy knitting and crochet. Good night, Alice. Bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye.